On the campaign trail in South Carolina, everybody else is talking taxes. Free enterprise is under attack from the right and from the left. We've but not Mitt Romney. After being battered with a tax on his business record, Mitt Romney is now facing scrutiny about his income tax records and how much he pays. Uh, what's the effective rate I've been paying? Well, I've, it's probably closer to the 15% rate than anything because my uh, last 10 years, I've, um, uh, my income comes overwhelmingly from, from investments. The attention only grew after that candid answer. He says he earns money through capital gains. The tax rate on those is 15%. Most Americans on average pay a higher rate on their income if it's derived through wages. Republican rival Newt Gingrich, who made Romney's career at a private equity firm an issue for a tech, has repeatedly called on Romney to release his tax records and has called Romney out of touch with voters. And ironically, it turned out yesterday that, that Mitt Romney pays about a 15% rate, so we're going to name our flat tax the Mitt Romney 15% flat tax. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not like liberals. I don't object to him paying 15%. I just want you to have the right to pay the same level, okay? The irony is that it's Republican candidates who lit the match and started the story. If they hadn't, the president's folks would have been out there in a couple months and done it themselves. Other Republican contenders have backed away from Gingrich's stand. At an appearance in Spartanburg, the former Massachusetts governor stuck to his stump speech attacking the president, though he did reserve some time for Gingrich. I was disappointed over the last couple of weeks to see one of my opponents uh, attacking free enterprise just like the president was. That's, that, that's not the role of the Republican Party. That, that, that makes us sad. Yet he didn't reference taxes. Voters at his event didn't think Romney's wealth and how he got it will matter at the polls. He probably paid more taxes than all the, the, the guys together, and it don't bother me. So I think as of now, everyone's trying to come up with anything they can just to bring him down because they know that he has the best shot. He didn't pay ta as much taxes as with him being as wealthy as he was. But... Um, that's not the major issue. The issues that are going on in the world right now are so much bigger than that. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a Romney supporter, says his allies should get the tax records out now. Mitt Romney has said he will release his tax records, but not until April, more than two months after the primary. John Mount Associated Press, Spartanburg, South Carolina.